Hi guys, Dorota Palicka, International Nail Artist and Educator here and the uh, jumper season just started so I'll show you how to do the jumper nail and the French and a sculpted coffin shape so quite a lot of in this tutorial we are going to start just uh, wipe the nails with the blue scrub to dehydrate them a little bit and then using a file we are going to scratch the surface of the natural nails Oh, I will have to move the camera later on. Okay, I will try to do as much as I can with this view. So I'm just scratching the natural nail plate. We have just removed the extensions and guys, like, I mean, those nails are really nice and strong and healthy. <laughs> Probably actually best they have been, yeah, isn't it? Nice. And uh, that's from carry on the extensions. Uh, well, we are really gentle on the natural nails. Okay, so I'm just giving plenty scratches to the nail plate. Natural nails always should be our priority, like they never should get damaged. If they do get damaged, extensions don't last a long time on them. So after we have done that, we have to dehydrate again. Okay, so I'm just dehydrating again. And then we are going to apply the nail forms. So I've got the nail forms here and I know Catherine nails, so I know how to um, prep the nail form um, for her shape of the nail. Because each client got a different form application. So for her nails, because she's got a little hyponychiums on her nails, I'm usually cutting out a wee um, small place so the form fits in nice. And then also I'm cutting it on the side so I can pinch it really nice, uh, the form. And then we are going to pre-pinch it in between the fingers. I need you here, perfect. Close the form. Going from behind the client, I usually hide the client view. I mean, Catherine is an amazing hand model. Uh, so I usually have no trouble, and now I've got the trouble. <laughs> Typical, isn't it? Uh, it's just I've got the camera right on front of my nose, so I really cannot even see it, what I'm doing. But, okay, I'm getting the form nicely in, and then start closing the form. Okay, so once the form sits in, I can close it. Let me check if it's straight. That's perfect. She got so nice nails for the form application. Okay, first one sits in and then we are going to apply the second one. So I'm just cutting a small part. Those uh, scissors are awesome, like they're really nice and sharp. I will try to get them guys on stock as well. They can be for cuticles and they can be also for the, um, for the trimming of the forms. It's just the end of the day, Catherine is my last client. So <laughs> I could feel I had a really busy, busy day, like extremely busy day. And then apply the next form in. Okay, once it sits, I'm um, start closing the form. And to be honest, they are so nicely applied and the forms and they so pinched that we actually even wouldn't have to pinch it with the pinching clamp. Um, I'm going to do it just a little bit, uh, but they are really beautifully applied. And okay, our next step is to you can see it like the forms. They just lie with the natural nail, like they are not wider than the natural nail. An extra nail pred because during the form application, we quite often touch the natural nail and we really don't want uh, those oils um, from our fingers be on the client's nails. We are going to use the light rose sculpting uh, fiber gel. So I wait for the nail prep to dry and this one is already dry. So I'm applying universal air bond, universal air bond. Wait a couple seconds for it to dry and then we are going to start sculpting those beautiful nails. So try to don't bang the form on me. <laughs> Thank you. I might actually even squish it more. Brilliant. Guys, you don't want to see me like how I'm working now <laughs> with the camera, but this gives you probably a, one of the best uh, views 
make sure it's in focus perfect so i'm applying a nice and thin scoop of the product on the natural nail plate and then building my skeleton of the nail as you can see it i'm always going outside uh, the shape just so i've got something to shape like in case i'm missing some products i can remove the form and i can add it on because i've got a little bit more than i need it same for the free edge a little bit more than i need it check the size perfect you can cook it in and we are going to cure it for 30 seconds <clears throat> same in here so nice and thin nice and thin pick up another scoop at the joining place i'm always applying more product first of all like you want to be able to pinch it and then secondly you don't want the cracks in there okay so this is a really important place And you could see I have just burst the air bubble. If you would create an air bubble in this place, the nails would become much weaker in this place. So make sure you have no air bubbles. Okay, work at my age. The length is good. Change. So this nail is ready for pinch and I'm going to give it a gentle pinch. pinch. <laughs> Not a big one, just a little bit. So basically, I'm just squishing the nail a little bit. I've got something there. And I'm using a clear pinching clamps for it. Not sure? No. Guys, like, I'm not applying it here at the nail bed. I'm applying it more where the nail leaves the free edge. Like, do not apply it on the uh, finger, uh, because then it will be sore, okay? Change not sir nope. tell me if you would feel anything <laughs> or kick under the table <laughs> okay so <clears throat> i'm just checking this one as well and then very gently apply the pinching clamp all good mm -hmm. still good yep. so Perfect change. Remove the pinching clamp form and then we can build the nail. So nice and thin layer. And those two thin layers is enough product around the cuticle area. Okay, so that's plenty around the cuticle area and now i'm picking up a large scoop of the product like really large scoop i might actually even keep the pot here so you can guys see it kind of released from my brush and because the gel you can see it is kind of a bit watery consistency i'm working more to the middle because by the time i finish it the gel is going to run to the sides look i didn't touch it even with my brush uh, we change quickly um, and you could see the gel just spread it into the right place like I didn't have to do much so that's why I love gel as well so watch this process again it doesn't get hot no, it's okay. it, it's okay. watch it if you feel it hot, hot at any time just take it out so nice and thin layer and because we are applying this nice and thin layer you can also control the application around the cuticle area uh, and it is not going to float your cuticles so i always recommend it uh, doing it this way okay and then i'm picking up another scoop and you can see it the gel is runny so look guys slowly what we are going to do it so release those balls from the brush like actually my brush have been dirty from the previous application which makes harder for the ball to get out from the brush like ah come on get out it doesn't want to get out so if you've got clean brush on the one side you get cleaner pickup actually i might show you that as well so i'm going to clean my brush with the just a dry um nail wipe and then pick up the scoop so that's how your brush should look on the one side okay just the one side of the brush and you can see the ball is behaving nicer get rid of it on the nail 
do not lift your hand like do not lose the contact with your gel like keep it in contact all the time your brush with the product because otherwise you bring air bubbles and just touch it up one side other side and that's it and quickly I need to cook it because the gel is moving change brilliant <laughs> <laughs> if you've got the client which is co 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 I can't <laughs> <laughs> say it again co what did I say that's it oh gosh i can't okay. even repeat it <laughs> yes if you've got a client which cooperates That's with you <laughs> thank you so much Beryl. then everything is much easier so okay so that's our new sculpted now we need to shape it nice and i'm using the uv cleanser to remove the inhibition layer so uv cleanser yeah, Catherine's always call. Um... I'm not even seeing it, you boy. <laughs> <laughs> so I've got two files. One is a more used file, and that's the file which I'm using going into those places. Like you don't want to go with the very sharp file there because you could hurt the client. Okay, so with the um, soft file, I'm going into those places here. into the v-shape okay the coffin shape is a nice v-shape so we've got nice v-shape and then shorten the free edge and it's so pretty already <laughs> yeah it's really pretty it not always turn out so pretty guys believe me but this one is actually nice and pretty Yeah, we've got better and worse days and this one actually because the gel self levels so much like it's it just looks so nice without of doing anything really. I'm getting excited about this nail. <laughs> it's like ah it turned out so pretty. Okay, I need to blend everything around the cuticle area. And then this movement is really awesome. So you can see where I didn't file and you can see places where I filed. So I'm filing out here and I'm filing out there. And this movement, and I show you the filing places, it's amazing to make a coffee needle look really nice and um, slim looking. Okay, I check the hairline and you can also see the thickness, like they are quite decent thickness but we want to thin them out at the free edge i don't like the nails which are too thick at the free edge so this is me thinning out the free edge i want credit card thickness ideally but just at this place here not in there here i need lots of product so if i would like measure the size of the product in this point there is lots of product in there Oh, it's a shame to shorten it. But I need to shorten it a little bit more. Okay, check the client view. That's perfect. Thank you so much. So that's it. Like, I'm not going to file this nail anymore. The next step is to use the buffer. So I'm just buffing this nail. Buff it, buff it, buff it. And um, I'm I have catched those clients new because if it's in this position, you would catch it easier. So ideally, you want to kind of keep it down, then you can file faster without of risking catching it. Okay, blend it nice in there. more scratches
And now I'm going to just trim the cuticle a little bit. <laughs> yes, I did. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, so this one is uh, ready for a color application. And we are going to quickly shape the other nail. I wonder if this one is going to be so pretty as well. Oh, that's such a lovely shape. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> really nice. <laughs> but it's nice to have a new set, you know, oh, like uh, nice to have a new set. So on Catherine, we're doing a new set every three times and she usually walk about a month with her nails. So that's like every three months, only four times a year. Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> okay, so I'm just filing the same. If you kind of keep those routine, things becomes much easier okay so filing the same shape so V shape I'm also quite often checking like obviously if this um, lower arches are equal as well so let me check The shape shorten the new and shortening doesn't take really that long um, check the client view because I'm always filing squint okay and then after we have uh, kind of got into the coffin shape now I can make the new look nicer so the side shaping okay bring it at kind of higher up okay same on this one I'm going to file this way bring it it higher up so this way we remove the bulk which might be on the sides blend around the cuticle area smooth the entire nail this one is actually not too bad either but I like the other one better <laughs> because it was <laughs> it was just so nice, like without a filing even. Okay, I'm checking the entire view and I can see on this side I've got a little bit more product, so I'm just smoothing it out. And making this new more coffin shape as well. Yeah, starting looking good. And when I'm finally, finally happy, I can take a buffer and just buff it. And the buffer I'm using is a hundred by hundred eighty grit, so it's a pretty strong grit, and you have to be careful because you can really even cut the client strongly. Some of you probably wonder as well, like why do I wear the gloves? Because normally I'm working without of the gloves, so. Uh, yeah, I just I'm just during the process of getting my nails done as well, so I will show you them once we finish the filing as well. It's a tiny bit longer. Yeah, it's really nice one too. Okay, final check on both of them. 
so when I'm checking this way I can also see like how the cuticle area is looking and I can see it on this one that I want to touch it up a little bit more just so it's easier to apply the color especially like a um, white white uh, black and red that's the kind of colors which are always showing any kind of imperfections so you have to make sure it is all all good I remove the dust trim the other cuticle and let's move on into the French manicure Okay, and then when I'm happy, I can clean it with the blue scrub and we can start doing the design. So French and white. For the French, we are going to use the paint on French gel and the angular gel brush. See, I'm in the process of getting the nails done. <laughs> I've got so much dust in my eyes that I'm almost blind. You be careful, we need you. Of course, I, I will. I will start wearing goggles. <laughs> yeah, the lady's just saying they need me. Okay, so I'm just painting the French. We just recording a wee video for the YouTube. You can say hello to our subscribers. Yeah, we've got lots of great girls watching us from all over the world, and we are doing some fancy news. <laughs> the first time ever having French. Is that what you say? Yeah, yes, actually, fr I mean, first time ever Catherine is having a French manicure. She never had the French manicure. I've been coming to get my nails done for years, too. <laughs> <laughs> well, with these hands, I can't do anything. Look, I've got a knife. I've got a Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so another one for the French. <laughs> Well, once Olivia book and lady appointment, I will get through the French as well. I'm actually glad I can not talk during this process because then it's faster for me. Especially that I'm feeling really blind today. Okay, so I've got two French here and we are going to cook them. And now I'm going to talk through it. So I'm removing the excess of the product, going to the corner of the smile line. So that will be my corner of the smile line. The other corner as well. Like I usually pick up the corner where the mm, natural smile line is. 
checking if they equal and then going V shape so by going into the V shape it's much easier for me to work out the shape of the smile line and then the next place I'm looking for is like where is the middle and then once I know where is the middle I'm start pushing the product in and you know what guys I love uh, let me just do it I love doing the French gosh sorry guys I just need to concentrate on that check the client view I don't know what I wanted to say now <laughs> no I will I will remember in a minute ah, I know what I wanted to say so I like to use the paint on French gel for a French because when, when Catherine will come back for me for an infill, we just do two files, uh, two touches of the file, and I'm already removing the French manicure. I don't like to like, doing it in an old fashioned way because then you have to, like, where you've got pink and black, uh, pink and white, because then you have to almost remove the extensions if she wants to change the design. And, like, I mean, I'm changing the designs for my clients every single appointment, and I really don't want to file it right down to the zero, and I don't want some old old previous designs to showing through it okay so that's why I prefer this technique and it's working fast fantastic in a salon okay so the v-shape again and now I'm start working on my smile line Okay, can I check it? Client view? Mm -hmm. It's this core, okay. So by checking the client view, I know that I didn't make a nice straight job. And another tip I can give you guys is like, it's also depending how straight you're sitting. Like right now, I really have got the camera on front of my nose. That's why you've got the direct view. And this is the most uncomfy view for me because that's mean I have to go side wise and this is making the french wonky as well so it's really important that both of you client and you sit nice and straight okay don't be too fussy cook it and change <laughs> <laughs> you have to kind of find where happy medium when because if you would go and keep fixing it fixing it eventually you will just make a mess of it so once you're kind of happy you just cook it okay then we are going to use a 173 thank you so much bye <laughs> Okay, guys, say bye bye to our lady. <laughs> and uh, yeah, 173. Uh, let's paint those white so we can do the jumper. So I'm just applying the white. It isn't a one coat black, but it's kind of decent in two. Change. so I have painted another new change second layer change 
Then second layer on this one. It's called pitting, the proper name. Collaborate. Ah, I got it. <laughs> Perfect change. <laughs> huh? I said collaborate, not cooperate. Oh, okay. <laughs> cooperate. <laughs> Thanks, Olivia. Okay. Oh gosh, I'm lost. I'm I'm just so tired, yeah, guys. Yeah. Like I am really tired. It have been a long, really busy day, it's guys. Been so busy. It's happening as well. Yeah, crazy, like non-stop. You know. Okay, I'm applying a top coat over my French. Now my white didn't cure yet because it was just a few seconds like um applying top coat over this one. Change. Then top coat over them and then the matte top coat is going over the white and then I can show you the jumper. I will be showing you lots of different jumpers uh, this season because I think they look always so fantastic on the nails and you can use it with any colors. How do you like French by the way? Yes, yeah, oh, so many like years that. and you had never French. <laughs> Change your like So from the back of the form we are going to use that before we are going to apply the matte top coat. So matte top coat. Change. But it feels so classy now. Very classy. Uh, yeah. Okay, I need to cook the matte top coat which is in there. So I'm going to take a paint on French gel and apply it a tiny bit in here. With some large brush. So I don't damage the fine brush. <clears throat> And I still got the birthday party to go on today, oh, and then I'm working tomorrow. Oh no! <laughs> I said, "Wow, well, the first birthday party to oh. our um, friend girl." So, yeah, I'm really so tired. I'm tomorrow. going to be very tired tomorrow. Okay, guys, we are going to pick up a nice line. So when I'm picking up the nice line, nice line, I'm just doing like a wee line on the piece of paper. And then just painting a wee straight line. Another wee straight line. <laughs> oh. She tried to get you. Mm -hmm. She's got to see what my nails are like. She, <laughs> she is that she uh, baby revelar oh, nails. Yeah, nice. they were actually beautiful, like blue and pink. Okay, so we have painted those two lines, and now the next step is paint kind of straight line, and then wave going into the straight line. It's actually quite di difficult even to describe this shape. I don't know what is the shape. Like a small one on the top. Even two if you need. And then the other side. You have to start with those um, straight lines on the sides first just so you know where you're going with it. Otherwise it would be too difficult to paint it. So line, wave and the line. OK. 
could even maybe do it one side first so your hand kind of get used to this uh, shape then it's easier to paint it I I'm going to show you like lots of different uh, designs for the jumpers uh, some of them are easier some of them are a little bit harder this one I would say is a little bit harder uh, to do it but I quite like it it's different you know we cannot have all easy ones you could also ask your granny for a best knit ideas yeah. knitted look yeah okay so I have created one side obviously it's me painting white on top of white And now doing the other side. And paint on friend gel is fantastic because I don't have to use the top coat. It is absolutely safe to stay on the nails the entire month without a top coat. So it's your must have for the jumper season. Uh, what else you could do it guys you could sprinkle it with the clear acrylic powder or you could also sprinkle it with the <clears throat> with the um, sugar effect that will look pretty nice as well i just wanted to have those kind of bold look to it dotting tool and couple dots can't wait actually to take a beautiful picture of them Yeah, what a change. And then we are going for a purple one for Christmas. <laughs> yes, we can see it, guys. I really love so it. Pretty, it's so I? pretty. Like, you know, not over the top, but change. Well, I really like it. Okay, so one more time. So the line, I don't want to make the line too thick, like, if you're scared that you might damage the design, uh, do a little bit and then cook it, um, like, I don't like the thickness of it here, so I'm going to remove it. So if there is a part which you don't like, you can easily remove it. And the reason why I didn't like it, because it was so thick, it will make the nail look thicker in this place and it would change the shape of it, so it wouldn't look nice at all. Okay, so one more time. I don't know, it's not a number four I'm painting. Um, maybe just like a, I'm trying to paint almost a number four. or Just like a wee wave. I don't know even how to describe it, this shape, or a leaf. Okay, Olivia, an expert, comes here. How would you describe this shape? I just like don't clean it. That's how I would like draw vines. What you would draw? Vines. Like mm. ivy vines. Basically leaves. Oh, ivy! Yeah, like, so yeah, 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 I know the plant. Like. <sighs> sure it has a name, but no clue what it is. Granny <laughs> And they're so nice and warm and cozy. Okay, now the other side. And the other side, I've got always problem with that. Until I start, I do the first one. Like once I do the first one, I know where I'm going. Mm. 
I wonder if it would be easier to paint other way. Okay, what I'm doing is a line. And then wraith. And then we are almost done. On the top, you could either do one or you could do two. It's depending how much room you've got uh, on the top. But I always do the top at the end. Like once I done the first one, like I'm not starting with the top one because then it is more difficult. And doesn't matter which uh, knitted look I choose, uh, that's how I do it. The easiest one is a number four uh, through the entire set. And I'm definitely going to show it that as well. Like today I just wanted to show some more advanced one. If you're scared like your client is heavy handed or uh, I would suggest you could cook it twice uh, so you could cure it a little bit longer to make sure products attach really well inside. I know Catherine is always behaving nicely yes. with her nails, but that's what we have created guys like it's a really beautiful um, beautiful set so next step I'm going to do it is I'm just going to wait a couple seconds always from um, when I take the hand out from the lamp and then remove the inhibition layer from the from the paint on French gel clean the hands and apply cuticle oil and that's the set which we have created today really really nice mm -hmm. I love this jumper look it's so, so nice. nice if you want to have a nice pictures do not apply too much cuticle oil so I would apply cuticle oil and then I would wipe the excess of it like I don't want too much on my clients nails and then just remove the excess of it and of course do not apply cuticle oil like when you've got dust on the hands uh, because dust is a product and you don't want to rub that in and the second hand so that's two of them uh, oh they're so pretty uh, yeah like I'm really happy with them like a mm -hmm. child so getting nice. a new <laughs> toy isn't it <laughs> then going but home yeah. and like touching them oh like they're so nice this ones are like I love this land on me as well but yeah I'm sending you lots of glittery hacks and bye for now oh.